Welcome back, everyone, to Sanity Loss, a Call of Cthulhu podcast where uh, we originally were going to have a bunch of stuff, and then we took almost a month off between every recording. (laughs) (laughs) It was the holidays. Life happens. Yeah. People's mouths fall out. Mine. (laughs) (laughs) There's, There's a Call of Cthulhu campaign where... Actually, I don't know if it's a real campaign or if it was just something that someone homebrewed, but there's like a just this whole scenario where people's teeth would keep falling out, uh, and then they uh, would open up jars uh, and they nope. would just be filled with teeth. Nope, nope, nope. That is literally my nightmare. It's like okay. I have nightmares that my teeth fall out, and it's the worst thing <laughs> in the world. So that okay. would be my nightmare. Made a note of that. And... <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know why you're sharing that information. <laughs> you know, that that's never share your terrors with the DM of the uh-huh. terror podcast. Oh. That's, yeah, you're right, you're right. <clears throat> well, Knight's the one that keeps telling me, I ain't scared, which it's, to be fair, there really hasn't been a lot of scary stuff. <laughs> if, like, if, if clowns aren't your, it's, I don't know, it's much more, I guess if we would classify it, much more of a thriller. If, if, you, if you can yeah. manage to find what really gets under my skin, I'll be impressed. I mean, there have definitely um, been some creepy moments. It's the end of the NASA space program! <laughs> <laughs> For audio listeners, Knight held his face in a gasp. <laughs> but, uh... I I remember when... I was thinking it was like a month ago when we last played. Uh, or eh, I don't know how long it was ago. But I, I looked it up, and it was... I rem- I think we said um, before we recorded, it was the end of the session we did before the the one before this. Okay. And I think I said, it's like, okay, guys, well, in, a, in about, I think, two months, we'll g- actually get to the circus. <laughs> if we didn't take the break, it I looked, it would be exactly two months <laughs> since the last time we recorded to actually get into the circus. Of like yeah, recording just time. Missed it. Yeah. <laughs> St- stinking Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but we're here oh, now. That, that's right. I, what episode? There, an episode did come out today. What episode came out today? Ooh. Um, oh yeah, it's Caleb makes a friend. <laughs> it's the one where he finds the, the child in the woods. Oh. oh. Right after Theodore. <laughs> yeah, that, right. that yep. guy's creepy. Mm-hmm. That guy's awesome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Theodore is our so. friend. Maybe. <laughs> not sure. Maybe, yeah. probably not. <laughs> and then we saw the, the canonical way how to spell Theodore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ooh, excuse me. So, but yeah. Um, i trying to think if there's anything other fun to mention. I don't know. I think some of us went back to work today. I have to go back to work tomorrow. It's <laughs> so. officially the new year. How dare. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> so did anyone watch the ball drop? I know half of us didn't. Uh, no. I did not. No. Elizabeth went to bed and I just played video games. But I must you watched yeah, That's game. what we did. Yeah, I was watching a full. Yeah, the video game. <laughs> <laughs> I was also playing games while watching the football. I think we were getting chased around by a sheriff at that point. Yeah, we were... Uh, it was right in between. We were playing uh, Phasmophobia to mm. get the holiday whatever done. Nice. And and then after that, we played Devour, which... I, I have a lot of words for that game. <laughs> I enjoy it. But at the same time, without having... We're all getting close to our dinner time, so it's just like... I, I'm not going to go into a another 30 minute tirade about that if you want to do that go watch the vod it's somewhere in there <laughs> it's a love to hate game just like league yeah i haven't played league in like six months <laughs> <laughs> but anyway um yeah it is so then no one watched the ball drop no so did it ever happen no maybe it's still 2022 <laughs> cool. Uh, we have a that bunch power. Of explosions happened though. 
Um, did you guys see or all of the places? Well, there. So no. there were like <laughs> multiple uh, firework um, problems. So oh. like one was it over in in Germany that they released the Netherlands? Maybe they released all of their fireworks at the same time. Whoops. Accidentally, the computer like messed up and like set That's just all efficient. of them. And then somewhere else, some kid dumped uh, gasoline in the container of fireworks. Oh, God. And, like, it literally exploded. <laughs> like, there are videos of, like, the whole thing. Like, yeah. I feel like fireworks this year were much more hazardous than normal. <laughs> it it, it well, amazes me how little respect people have for fireworks. That, that uh, yeah. Lighting them. Too much alcohol, not enough brains. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yep, I said it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. No, you're totally yeah. right. <laughs> I think uh, the only thing I saw was a video in Hawaii where they were just uh, diddling. Yeah, they're trying to like cut back on illegal fireworks, and then it's like New Year's Day, New Year, like the New Year uh, uh, on Hawaii, and it's just. The whole island. I don't know which island it is, but it's like the whole coast that you can see. All it's like them. there's All like a hundred yeah. firework shows just going <laughs> just all over the place, and it's just like this is what we think if you're illegal. Yeah, legal, legal stuff. If your rules, people love to burn yeah. money. Yeah. It's like I don't know. All the tourists keep taking our water, so we're gonna blow up the sky. <laughs> So, and I dropped my marker. Come back. So, okay. This is my official TwitchCon 2017 marker. Wow, that's last. I'm surprised it. La yeah, that's when I. <laughs> well, it helps that for like three years I left it in the backpack and forgot it was there. <laughs> so, and now it really only gets used for for Christmas when I got to label Christmas presents. <laughs> have it for forever. Always good to have that one Christmas label pen. Mm -hmm. Always. Yep. Thanks, Twitch. <laughs> but anyway, uh, are we ready to go to circus? I think so. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting to go to the circus since we started this thing. I also, I can't remember how loud the volume is, so let no. me know if it's blasting in your ears. Could be down a little bit. Yeah. Just feel it bad. I think that's normally where it sits, but that's what editing's for. So we start so with yes. our luck rolls. We do need to start with our Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, do that. Sure. <laughs> I rolled an 87 over, over 44. Uh, and then roll got your eight, luck. Then I got eight luck back. Okie dokie. Yep. Wait, what does double zeros mean? A hundred, I think. I thought zeros were zero. Yeah. Because it's zero to ninety nine. Double zeros are. Yeah. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. No. Stupid. Oh yeah, you're right. Mm. I'm looking no, it up. No, my tens die. So we have to roll over our luck stat. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I rolled under, so I don't get it. Uh, I rolled double zeros as well. Okay. Uh -huh. It's the second time I miss that. My luck is so low, too, I should have no problem hitting <laughs> That's unfortunate. I'm, like, looking it up right now just to make sure. I I remember reading this. Uh, that's not how you spell Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay, yeah, so on the tens die, double zeros does represent a hundred. So does that mean that I would have rolled a hundred and four? Is that a number that can exist? That's why I thought. I I think is it is it all zeros would be a hundred? Is that I what think ends it's up all being a hundred? Zeros. I think it, yeah. So the tens would be the first number. Right. So and so zero. So yeah, if you had zero zero zero. Does it depend on how you're rolling it? So if you're rolling it with a ten-sided die. Well, you roll it with both the tens and the hundreds. You roll both. Oh, right. I didn't. Yeah. Well, so, it's for example, the, I rolled. It's the ones and the tens. Right. Much. So, I rolled the double zero and a four. 
In that case, it would, yeah, it would be four. Yeah, I think... Because yeah, the, because zero, the zero yeah. on the ten-sided die is ten. So if you roll a 90... No, there's a 10. There's a 10 on my 10. On my 10's die. Oh, really? Mine's yeah, just it a goes, 0. It goes 0 through I 9, 10. basically. Yeah. It's 0 through I 9 on both. I have a 10, 20, Yeah, 30, because 20. 99 would be a failure. So 0... Yeah, because if it would be the one in front of it, the big, the 0 would be... That's how you would get single digits. Mm-hmm. Right. So, yeah. So... so a 4. Zero, and zero, and four. Right. And then if it goes the other way, I will make sure I change the roll to be in my favor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> cool. Nah, it's... Okay, so then, yeah. no, I, I missed mine. Alrighty. And then, uh, if anyone has a complaint about that, uh, let us know <laughs> in three weeks when this episode comes out. Yeah. If you have a complaint, call 555. I'm going to complain... And uh, leave a you message. You can email us if you and figure I'm, out the email address. I'm sure by that point we'll have had more episodes where we messed it up. So <laughs> oh, yeah. don't even bother correcting us. We're just making it up as we go. We will have at least 15 other episodes uh, <laughs> of people messing up. But anyway, you guys uh, with Sheriff Hudson crest over... Uh, yeah, over the hill as you guys come into uh, the glow of torches and fires uh, just uh, around different tents. You see a few townspeople out. Um, did you guys get here right as it opened? Is that what you guys were trying to do? I think or, so. Hey. Um, yeah, so like as you were drawing closer, you saw like there's a handful of other people, mainly like kind of like the the teenager uh group that doesn't really have uh doesn't have to like be home by a certain time but it's also thursday night friday night it is friday night so um yeah so there's a small group of people you see a few clowns um just kind of doing different tricks um you you guys can hear kind of like uh you know, like you can hear the the music over playing over like some sort of uh rigged together speaker system that you guys can't really find out where i really hope there's some sort of speaker system in the 1920s <laughs> or 30s i don't i don't exactly remember what time period i think we're in the 30s now i think we're in 34 i don't know i have it written down somewhere um but yeah you have uh kind of all these things happening and uh there seems to be just uh, some good vibes and uh you see like a, a sign as you kind of walk forward um one pointing at a smaller tent that just says like uh games uh the other smaller tent uh which uh that says food and then the big tent uh is like an arrow saying main attraction so what would you like to do I want to take a look around. Who do I... Do I see anyone... Um, like, any of the clowns that we have met? Like, is there anyone that I would recognize? Uh, roll spot hidden. Like, right at right at the get-go, you don't really see anybody so that you recognize. So like no one I'll roll, but there's... Yeah. There's not like, really any... Um, at a quick glance, you don't see any that you kind of recognize, but... Like, if you're gonna, like, just kind of study the crowd a little bit when, yeah, when you do okay. that. Okay, okay, let's see. And use the dice that our game master gave us. We'll see uh, how <laughs> they roll. Not good. I see nothing. Ah, I love it. Um, <laughs> They're good a, dice. That's an 82 over 50. You trust the <laughs> dice from the DM? I know. I'm gonna try once. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> what was it? Uh, 
<laughs> my Twitter status for it today because I saw everyone writing uh, content goals. I was like, my only content goal is that my players will roll more natural ones. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good content goal. <laughs> okay, uh, so... Yeah, no, there's... It's, so there's um, like no clowns or anything, or is it just that there, I don't see the clowns that we've recognized? You, you don't see the clowns that you recognize. Okay. Like, there's... Because, like, um, you guys... I, if I remember correctly, you saw the three that were at the mine the one day, kind of causing shenanigans there, and then you saw Buster. Mm-hmm. I, um, and then I don't think you got a good look at the ones that were in the car driving around, just playing music. Yeah, I wouldn't um, have. Well, we, avoided the, uh, we avoided yeah. that. We avoided that. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah, about I think the ones? You guys got away from them. What about the ones that um, took the? The little girl's mom. Well, Percy's Percy the only one that saw seen. that, right. so. Do you like I to... see them? <laughs> <laughs> well, what is your what is your <laughs> what is your base stat? On spot hidden. Yeah. Eighty one. Yeah, you don't have to roll for that. Like you don't see like if if they're here, they're not really out and about. But like, uh, yeah, no, you don't see any of the the ones that. Took um I've already forgot the child's name and you just said it. It just deleted out of my brain. Sarah. Sarah, there we go. Um yeah, you don't see the ones that took Sarah's Sarah's parents or parents, mom. <laughs> and uh Yeah. Or the the ones that chased you, which I believe are the same ones. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. Okay, so. so I think Cora turns to everyone and um and asks, um, so what is our priority here? I am feeling like we should be looking for Sarah's mom, but there's so many things we could be looking for. We could go look at the container where I found the box. I mean, that seemed to be a place that they were clearly hiding something special. Maybe we could see if if Sarah's mom's in there, or even if there's they're keeping something new, or or even if they've noticed that we what that I took the box. Is it um, would it be obvious that we shouldn't be there, or is it kind of like in and amongst the rest of the stuff? Um, so, with, uh, Percy's just natural spot hidden and perception, you guys did not see the, and Percy, you did not see that trailer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, it's either hidden somewhere, they left to put it somewhere else, or it's maybe hidden somewhere in one of the tents that you, you don't know. Okay. So, or... In that case, you know, Percy's kind of looking around, um, doesn't see it, and it says, actually, I don't see, I don't see it anymore. They, they've moved, they must have moved it, or hidden it, I don't know, I don't know, but it's not where it was. Well, we should okay. probably get, like, a general look around as well, and just, like, maybe see, kind of get a lay of the, the their whole circus area as a whole and Dave are there other like normal people at the circus like yeah there's there's a handful of families yeah like besides Sheriff Hudson who's with you guys there's there's a small crowds mainly more the young folk that are coming out and there isn't like a lot of people with uh, with their kids out like with their with young kids out Um, but uh it was also this opened up maybe a little bit later for for them to bring their kids out. Okay. So um, there might be more families here tomorrow or maybe later. Who knows? But um, yeah, the generally right now it's like you're more young adult crowd, so your teenagers mm-hmm. uh, and twenties ish, which you guys would fit in that group, right? Mm-hmm. Except Hudson. <laughs> we I'm could... really curious what's in the main event tent. 
we could try and blend in with like the the crowds of people who are already there just kind of like maneuver through the crowds and try and you know avoid observation that way and just kind of move to where we want to go maybe maybe it wouldn't hurt to just see what their show is that what kind of a show they're presenting and at least for some of us to see what the what their event is anyway so, I feel really uncomfortable with splitting up before we can like really know what the lay of the land is and I feel like there's too many places where someone could go missing and we, we wouldn't know I, I agree if we're gonna go somewhere we should go as a group well, especially if we're gonna go anywhere four of us yeah, especially if we're gonna go anywhere that's not like the, the main public areas so what if we did this? I'm assuming we're still standing at the the entrance. What mm -hmm. if we split up into two groups? Percy and I will go to the left. Caleb, you and Sheriff Hudson go to the right. And we'll make a circle and meet at the main tent in the center for the show. And just see what we can see. In the tents on the side, or if there's anything that seems suspicious to just note it and we can regroup and go from there it should only take us a few minutes to kind of do a circle and then we can see what's going on in the main circus tent that, yeah that should at least give us kind of a lay of a, the land and how things are set up so we have some familiarity there that seems reasonable and Maybe I'll, I'll I might stop by the snack tent and pick up some other snacks <laughs> for uh, for testing purposes. <laughs> we'll make sure you get enough for all of us. Although maybe they're poisoned. Well, that's why I figure we can test them. Okay. Uh, so I, we'll go in the before direction. Before you guys go, I need you guys to I need you guys to come to agreement, high or low. Uh, low. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we have one high, one low. I was gonna say low. Okay, low. That was fine. Okay. Okay. Continue. <laughs> Alright, so Percy and I head off in the directions of the in the direction of the games tent. We're doing that side of the of the All right. circle. So the games are on the left, the food is on the right. Ooh, got it right. Ah. Alright, so we're going on the left. Alright. Um, yeah, and then uh, I guess Sheriff Hudson looks at uh, you person and is like, I don't remember us saying we were splitting up in which groups, but uh, I guess it's been decided. <laughs> <laughs> well, this say. is probably for the best. Hmm. Okay. Let's, see what, let's see what they have in their snack tent and what might be suspicious or not. Okay. And yeah, she'll she'll walk with you. So I uh, guess as um, and I, personally I don't know what you're doing, but I, as Cora is walking towards the games tent, I guess she's just keeping an eye out for. I don't know it. I don't know if this is normal, but like. It strikes me, Elizabeth, the player, as a little odd that there's only, like, one tent. And so I think, like, looking for, like, are there other, like, smaller tents that maybe, like, the circus people would stay in? Or, like, are there any of those, like, sideshow things that people are getting called into? Or, like, just trying to see, like, and... Um, not even go to, but just like note what is in between the entrance and the game's tent, if there's anything there. Okay. Um, yeah, like you don't see really any any other structures, anything else. Like you, hmm. you got a, a pretty decent bird's eye view, even though it was at night. So if there's other tents or something there, 
they're farther they're they're at a different location but uh yeah there's like you kind of walk around the the large fire and like you kind of see uh just a few different clowns like kind of juggling um and like kind of doing like kind of these simple kind of like showman tricks that like you would expect to see like uh kind of like on the side of a street somewhere like in our modern day but it's just like yeah it seems like everyone is in good a good mood and and is uh is happy hmm. So as we're walking along, uh, Percy's, you know, looking for anything suspicious. You know, we're walking past games, so I'm assuming it's kind of like carnival-style games, which are always a little, you know... The games are inside the tent. I was going to say, can oh, you okay. even see them? No, All right, so yeah, they're not, not like okay. boots or stalls yeah, or anything. Yeah, if you... Well, you, you don't know yet. Like, yeah. uh... You just see, like, as you kind of get closer, you see, like, like, games, like, written and, like... Got, I gotcha. Okay. Like, painted on, like, a, like, your circus font, uh, and stuff. So, and, like, Cora, like, noticing that there's, like, nothing and gets up to the tent, she kind of, like, looks at Percy and, like, shrugs her shoulders and walks in. And Percy kind of follows, but maybe less blatantly slips in kind of like around a tent flap rather than walking straight in. Okay. Yeah. So, you guys enter there and like the music kind of gets a little bit softer as like you kind of go into this tent and uh, there's there's a like, it seems like since you guys got here right away, there's a handful of people in here, but uh, it is like a big open tent, uh, like circle uh, tent, not as big as the one uh, that you guys are going to be meeting up to later, but there's along the walls are like kind of different booths and uh, of just different like kind of carnival style games. Like you can see like uh, a ring toss, you can see, um, <clears throat> excuse me, like a uh, like a, a marksman kind of shoot the target kind of thing, uh, kind of game. Uh, you can see like um, like a, something of the equivalent of like a cornhole game as well. Uh, and there's like, they're kind of all scattered about of, of different style games. And then there's just like different, uh, I think this, this is where I'm getting messed up with the times. I'm like, I don't know if they had like electricity and stuff at that point of <laughs> of uh, of a portable sense. So just to keep things simple, uh, yeah, and there's like they kind of have like this. Uh, looking up, you can see like this uh, kind of pretty much like a chandelier, but it's like um, kind of like in this metal kind of container that is holding like this fire that's just kind of like giving this like dim lighting like it's not hindering your you you being able to see it at all but it's uh yeah it's just kind of this kind of fire that is uh and like kind of just sitting up above you guys and then there's like scattered smaller torches um kind of lining out paths and then uh yeah in the middle of here there's uh actually a, a handful of like kind of different uh, farm animals and that uh, seems to be set up like as a like a petting zoo or uh, of the sort interesting okay so what is the first game to our left as we walk in like what is uh, like one of the first games that we see yeah, it is pretty much. Excuse me. It's uh, the game where like you had to take a. It's like what is that? What is that thing that they use in baseball to that they hit with the bats? <laughs> I was like, what's a baseball? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the yeah, so it's like a baseball. Like you gotta, it has like the three um, jugs uh, that you gotta hit off with a uh, with a baseball bat, not bat, bat, a baseball. All right. 
Um, so Coral walks over um, and says to whoever's running it, how much to play around? Ten dollars, please. <laughs> it's my whole month's salary. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> no. One child. No. <laughs> um. We figured it out. <laughs> ah! Uh, and he's, he's just like, uh, a nickel. Cora takes out a nickel and lays it on the table, or on the counter. I make an accounting check now, <laughs> or credit <laughs> reading. <laughs> Can no, I you, find you're, a nickel? No, you're fine. If you're, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> I remember. I, yeah, I'm I like a moderate level uh, income yeah. or whatever, so I'm sure I have a nickel. Yeah. Oh, that's gosh. probably honestly a nickel is probably more than what it's like. It's probably like a penny. Penny, yeah. Yeah. And so nickel seems in the right general. Yeah, I was just like, I don't know. I don't think he'd be playing too many games if it if it was a nickel. Wouldn't necessarily but anyway. do a lot, but it's in the right general yeah. ballpark. So two copper. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, he. Uh, Sets up the the thing the the platform. He's like, "All right, you get three throws, and then if you can knock off uh, all three jugs, then uh, you get to win one of the prizes that are around." What like are the see, prizes? They're like crudely sewn together dolls, and like oh good, and like of uh, of like some are animals, some are like humans, some are like I don't know, just weird sack things and they're like they're they're like kind of look like children's play toys okay all right so i pick up one of the balls and i'm assuming is this a throw check uh, yep okay guys whether this game is rigged or not my throw is a 20 <laughs> so <laughs> um yep. we will see Mm -hmm. Where's that four when I need it? <laughs> Only for luck. All right, that is a forty-eight over twenty. <laughs> yeah, so like, you go and you you wing it, and it's just like, it's it's definitely not on on course. And like, that's one. All right, I'm gonna try again. No, that's a 91 over 20. <laughs> Can I, like, nail him in the head? <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on, what is That's is an failing... extreme fail, isn't it? No, isn't failing, like, 96? I don't know. It's so, like, the, uh, the, the crit, uh, crit fails? Crit fail. It's not a percentage over. No. I'm handing Percy the last ball for him to uh, try. Uh, I well, I probably didn't. Well, hold walk. on, we have to like see if uh, Skill if I crit rolls. fails. Yeah. Well, and I I don't think I would have followed you up. I'm kind of more oh, meandering through, like getting a watching kind of everybody play these games. Success or failure? Let's see. Here we go. Uh, initial failure. Um, it's pushing a roll. Let's see. Failed dice rolls. Um, it's not telling me. I know I read the like the numerical amount of this. I thought it was like. I remember saying something about that before, but I'm not seeing it. <laughs> in the main player book. So let's check other places. I will Google it. That's what I'm doing right now. Um... I thought it was a 96. Is yeah, it's 96 to 100. Yeah, and then like if your stat is above a 50, uh, then it's a 90. It's a 99. So you failed, but not like it's. 
it's not it's a still fumble. yeah you you like overcorrected and you went all the way on the other side <laughs> so why right. more throw so as she gets ready to um to throw the next ball she asks uh she asks the guy how many people actually uh win at this game on average oh enough enough what is oh, that yeah. like one a night it could be it could be more could be less i just punched my mic <laughs> Ooh. okay that's an 18 under 20. Ooh. so barely <laughs> you throw and you're right on center and like you hit and then it just kind of nothing moves and just like oh man not enough force what what do you mean not enough force i hit that dead on ah it doesn't look like it it's still there see and like he's <laughs> like hmm uh -huh. how about this i'll give you one more try on the house all right all right all right all right i'm gonna do it this time I'll let you know. You need a hard success. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm not 20, sure if I'm, I'm supposed to like to say like that zero. before. Or not. <laughs> All right, not like so Cora like anything. really winds up. She's gonna like, she's gonna throw this with her whole mm -hmm. strength wherever it goes. It is, it is going. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a seven. All right. And so, like, he's just sitting there, and he's just, like, he didn't even move out of the way yet. He's like, I'm on, I'm leaving. And there's just, like, <laughs> like behind him as the, the jars, like, kind of fall all off, and they all, like, kind of fall off the platform. And he's just like, and, uh, <laughs> well, uh, you get to choose a prize. I told you I was going to do it. Uh, yes, you did. <coughs> um, cool. Uh, I think she picks one that looks the closest to a teddy bear. As possible. Uh, yeah. It's like, say, oh, great, here you go. And, uh, well, tell your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly will. Oh, question. How long have you been with the circus? Oh, I've been here for a couple of years now. Yeah? Do you like the lifestyle of traveling around, never having anywhere to settle? Well, that seemed a little bit harsh. There's something nice about a warm, cozy fire to go home to. I just can't imagine well, not having my place and my family and... Home never was very kind, you know. Hmm. So this home is better? Uncle Buster makes sure that we're all welcome here. Without him, I uh, would have been stuck in the gutter somewhere. Hmm. But here I have a purpose. Is this all you do? Or do you have uh, other jobs? Man, am I being interviewed? There's 20 questions or something. I... Just curious. We haven't had a circus come to town. Oh, are you looking to join? <laughs> no, but the lifestyle is very interesting to me. It is. It is, yeah. We get to see a lot of the uh, the Northeast here. And I think uh, next year we're planning to go south. Do you ever stop traveling or take a break or you just keep moving? Ah, uh, depends on the weather sometimes. Uh, and really, <laughs> Uncle Bust is the one that calls it. Yeah. But, uh, but if you excuse me, I can uh, see that there's uh, a young couple behind you. They're a little of their young sir. You're planning on impressing the young lady? And he, like, kind of shifts She's his attention like, to... Yeah. Um, okay, so Cora looks around to find Percy. Alright. Uh let's go over to uh Caleb and uh and Hudson. Alright, so. so we're kind of walking towards the uh the drinks the snack tent area and keeping an eye out on scouting out the area. And right. is there anything that's like, it visible as we're walking over that direction? Uh, no, nah, there's, like, really, you see kind of the same thing of just kind of, on this side, like, as you're walking, you kind of see, like, some mimes kind of in the fire and a little dancing circle, like, a little bit further beyond. 
uh, kind of closer to the the main tent. Um, Mine's in the fire. That's kind of that's a good place for them. Yeah, it's where they belong. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but um, but yeah, but yeah, they're just near the fire, just kind of doing their mime stuff, and yeah, you just see a handful of people, kind of just like, oh, cool, before like walking away, and <clears throat> man, if you're not, yeah, but... are you gonna just go right into the tent or? Yeah, I think we'll we'll just go in the uh, snack tent and see what what there is to get. All right. Yeah. So you walk in and like the like smell of bread and sugar just like hits you in the face, very much like it does to me every time I walk into a grocery store into that <laughs> section, <laughs> and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> but um, yeah, you can see like large stands of um, just kind of just pastries and uh, just kind of just sweet like kind of rock candy uh, and other candied items like a little bit farther in the back this is lit very similar very similarly to the to the other stand that you haven't been in where it's got the metal um, fixture with the, the fire up top and like kind of just torches lit all around um, and then, like, so they got stuff on there on the other side. That's all on the left side. On the right side, they kind of have, like, like kind of jerkies and different styles of meats that are there. Um, which uh, you can also smell uh, coming up. And, like, and then in the back, there's, like, kind of this drink. Uh, kind of like a bar. Well, not kind of. It is a bar. Uh, set up behind there of just a clown just kind of given out like in a little orders and stuff and then in the middle uh there is a a just kind of like a kind of like this grill of where they're kind of just cooking everything like on one side they have the meats on uh, like on the other side you can see kind of like um just the sweets kind of being cooked and like it looks like they kind of have some sort of like soup of the day that they're cooking there uh kind of more in the center and uh, yeah, that's all like kind of. It's not a. It's not a huge tent. Neither the game or the, um, whatever it's called, food tent are like huge. But like they're 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 decent size. They're like I don't know. My brain now deleted once again all mathematical terms and <laughs> stuff that would be used to describe this. But it's um. But yeah, it's it's a it's a pretty good distance, uh, but like it's not like you can see the other side, and like it's not like yards and yard hundreds and hundreds of yards away. It's more like maybe within like uh, I'm about to say a number. And I'm like I can't picture that in my head. Like so, like a 50 yard radius or something like that. I don't know. That's a really big. That, I, that would be yeah. Big. As I yeah. yeah, so maybe like. Yeah, so maybe, maybe like, uh, oh, I'm thinking tw twenty or fifteen, twenty, twenty foot yeah, radius. Yeah, that, that, that kind of fits closer to the size that I kind of have envisioned here. Yeah, I mean the main tent is so. usually the uh, larger one. Is it that one's there... the size of thirty-two football fields? <laughs> is there is, there is there anything that looks uh, suspicious in how they're cooking or storing things or? Uh, you'll have to do a spot hidden with that. 23 under 34. Okay. Uh, you don't notice anything strange. I'm, like, just kind of looking to see if there's any other skills that would fit. Like, there's not, like, a cooking skill. I think that would probably be an additional skill. Um, but, yeah. No, there's, um... There's nothing that you can see that's like really jumping out at you for uh, like uh, just things that are looking weird or or being prepared differently or or something. Um. Uh. So I guess we'll get a, we'll basically just go through and buy a variety of things for both for the group and that look 
safest for the group and for te to take back for testing and okay. so all right well are you gonna so we'll do this uh Hudson will be like okay I, I can go over and grab sweets if you want to take a look at the meats yeah sure that'll work yeah all right. And so, you guys kind of just split up, and, uh, yeah. Well, I'll let you sit on, think about that for a second as uh, we shift our attention over to, uh, to Percy. What are, what are you doing since you kind of just said peace to Korra without really telling her? So, yeah, as Korra had kind of gone up to the one stand, or game stand, I'm more, or Percy is more kind of maneuvering through the tent, um, watching other people playing the games, basically just looking for anything that's kind of off, anything that's like odd, um, not really engaging with anybody, but just, you know, trying to, trying to see, because we, you know, we know this carnival isn't a normal carnival, so just looking for signs of you know, whatever. You know, not, not even anything really specific. Like, are they trying to take advantage of people? Are the games rigged? You know, just any kind of that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, I think you would have saw, with, like, just your natural spot hidden, Korra succeed fail mm -hmm. at uh, hitting the things. You're like, and you're like, oh. Okay. Like, and so, like, not all the games seem to be up to snuff. Um... Yeah, and then so there's there's that. Um, trying to remember what I said. Yeah, there's all the games, and then there's like the petting zoo in the middle. Um, and like there's the the person that's like um, kind of that is running the petting zoo. It's like they kind of look uh, a little bit malnutrit, malnutrition, mal malnutrition, malnourished. Yeah, there we go. There's the word I was looking for and trying to say. Uh, and they, they look a little young, and, uh, like, you, <laughs> as you, like, kind of draw, like, as you're kind of making your rounds, like, you can hear, like, them coughing a little bit, and just, uh, just, like, kind of giving soft smiles to, like, anybody as they kind of settle, like, the pig that is the size of them, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna kind of, like, make my way over towards him and kind of like sidle up next sort of sidle up next to him not really kind of drawing any attention to myself and um percy asks what's what's the deal here ah oh oh hello hello um would you like to touch the animals uh no i'm i'm not interested in the animals oh. what what uh what's what do you what's your deal here what are you doing <coughs> I'm I'm here for the animals. It's my job. And what what is that what is your job? What are you what are you doing? To care for the animals. Whose animals are? Uh, uh, they're Uncle Busters. Okay. And do you work are you part of the circus? Yes, 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 I'm part of the circus. Um, how did you join the circus? Oh, uh, Uncle Buster found me. Okay, what were you doing before the circus and before Uncle Buster found you? Oh, I... I was lost. Uh, he pulled me out of the gutter. Okay, so you didn't have, like, a home or a family beforehand? Um... Roll spot hidden. That is a ninety-one over eighty-one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we know what he's going to be trying to level up next. Um, <laughs> I will never fail at this. Again. Um, hey. hey doesn't see it. like he's like ah oh, no no there's they they they're around somewhere but now the circus life's for me 
So you, you do have a family. Are they part of the circus? Um, I think if you want to try to get more information, we're going to uh, need a certain role, whether it's going to be charm, intimidate, uh, I will, let's uh, go intimidate. fast talk. Yeah, Yeah, let's go intimidate. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to get thrown out of this circus <laughs> in like the first 10 minutes of being here. So Percy, Percy kind of narrows his eyes and looks at him, and he's like, "Listen, I don't have time for this. I know you're hiding something. Where is your family?" And I will. Oh dear lord! Are you gonna push that roll or spend luck? Uh, he doesn't have luck to spend. I mean, I've got, I've got, I could do it. It's just. What'd you roll? A ninety-two over seventy. Ooh. It would just like eat half of my remaining luck. Big chunk of maroos. Are you gonna just you know uh, push that? Roll? Yeah. What is the push? Push the is just you re-roll, right? You re-roll and then like you you kind of narrate what you're trying to do different. Okay. Selling. Um, and there may be consequences. Yeah, yeah I know. If you fail again. Yep. Well, not may. If there if there's a fail, there will be consequences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um. Percy kind of, like, reaches out and does one of those, like, you know, neck pinch. It just kind of, like, grabs his neck and squeeze, starts to squeeze. Um, since he's not answering. And that is a six under 70. Oh, so that's an extreme success. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I, I, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. So I'm not like gra like I'm grabbing like you know the trap like when you like pinch mm -hmm. that right there like it just it hurts a lot but he can still breathe so yeah he's being dramatic <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so like Percy kind of like you know gives his whole body a shake and is like um, time or right, time to start giving me some answers they're they're inside inside where the tent the what big tent. One. The big one. The main tent? Yeah. What are they doing in there? Okay. You can't tell anybody I told you, but there's like another tent inside the big tent that only like that there's like a word that you can say. I they don't let me know it, but there's it they're there's like they're hidden inside. Your, your fan is there anybody else in there hey, yes there's they they take people and and uh I can't they they keep them in there and they force them to come out what did they do with them and like he kind of look at me I'm one of the better ones so they use them to work in the circus some who would know the word to get in there well as I try to remember the names of some of the clowns <laughs> as I stall to open up my notes that shut off <laughs> oops that's not the button I wanted that's still not the button I wanted <laughs> let's see um there we go and there we go is that I don't know. I'll find out as I scroll up. So I, I've, I've got three clown names, Toto, Bobo, and Coco. Any yeah, one of those? those are the ones I just read. <laughs> <laughs> no, Toto would be the one. He, he's like second in command. But then Hold on one second. Oh, yeah, and then like this burly clown like, that's like dressed as a cowboy is just like hey there Hurley what are you doing uh, um, nothing sir nothing nothing I'm I'm just showing him the animals and he like you with your spot hitting you're able to see he kind of gives you eyes just like don't get me in trouble please mm -hmm. yeah Percy kind of gives him just like uh, kind of like dusts his back off gives him like just a, a pat on the back and you know this, says, uh, this boy wasn't bothering you was he 
No, he was just showing me the animals. He was doing a, a great job, just telling me how he cares for them, and I was just about to go on my way. Alright. Where's that deception roll? Uh-oh. Is it persuade? You better start petting a pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess, uh... Well, I'll leave it up to you. Persuade or charm. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Charm isn't. Great. I feel like Percy gets like the short stick so many times <laughs> for some of these. Well. Yeah, but his spot hidden is so out of control that uh, yeah, he like I almost know. can't fail it. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess we could go with charm because that's a right. little. By the way, what, what Elizabeth said is like if you're going to like. If you do stuff like to interact yeah. with the environment and show it, you could get bonuses and stuff. Right, so. so like act like what you're doing is normal. Sure. I mean, that also works. I can certainly go over and like start petting animals. Okay. <laughs> well, add 20% add, uh, to your roll. Okay. Somebody's going to have to do that math for me. It, I don't know what your score is. <laughs> so. What is your... So charm, I'm 15. Yeah, so it would just add 20, pretty much. So, okay, I got you. I see what yeah, you're saying. All right, yeah, so 35. Since we're rolling percentage. Um, that is 15 plus 35. Uh, 15. Yeah, that? Ah, crap. That's a 63. Ugh. Okay, he like, kind of squints his eyes like, okay. That's all that's going on. And then he like kind of turns his back to you and just kind of walks away. Um, Percy's going to just kind of like nod at the boy. I didn't, we didn't, I didn't get his name, right? No. I don't think so. Oh, right? well, well, you, you heard it. Hurley. Hurley. Hurley, that's right. So anyway, I just kind of nod at him and then kind of quickly, you know, move away and go find uh, Cora to tell her what I heard. All right. Let's uh, let's go back to the other tent real quick. Um, is there? I dropped my dice. Uh, while I go pick that up, uh, Caleb, is there anything that you're doing for uh, grabbing any meats or anything? Yeah, I guess uh, as I'm, yeah, you know, picking out stuff to order or to get, um, I talk to the uh, the shopkeeper per uh, person there and. See, kind of see how long they, you know, how long have you been with the circus as well? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I've been here a couple of years. How'd you join the circus? Ah, uh, Uncle Buster found me. How did he? How did he find you? Oh, it was it's a long story, but pretty much found me in the gutter and got me out. So you just gave me a new life. So you just uh, join the circus to and travel about with the circus then? Yeah, it's better than nothing. It's better than home. What was wrong with home? It was just not a lot of freedom, you know? Just really just, just allow me to just stretch and, and, and everything. But we're, we're a little busy here, man. Uh, can is there... Do you want some, like, uh, suggestions for, for some of our options here? Yeah, what, what is... What do you, would you consider your best options? Our best? Well, our options, well... Uh, our jerky over here from, uh, from the beef I know a lot of people enjoy and everything, but if you want our best... Uh, we got a butcher in the back. His name is Carl. And, uh, we got his... His, uh, selection right over here. Never can go wrong with Carl's meat. So what kind of meat does... What kind of meat is Carl's... It's is a little Carl's? bit of everything. Uh, don't worry, it's no tricks, no tricks or anything. I know how some of these vagabonds go around and serve bad meat, trust me. It's, uh... You just try it once and it's... It's amazing. Um... Well, I'll get some of that and I'll get some of the beef jerky, too. Oh. All right, and that will cost you uh, a dime. Uh, I hand hand him the money, and so 
Anything, I guess, uh, anything else you want to, you know about the, uh, circus? But how long has Buster been around? Oh, he's been around for a long time. Like, everybody in here kind of knows him from somewhere. Interesting. Kind of, yeah, he travels around and helps people. Helps them just by having them join the circus? He gives the option. People are in hard times. He helps them out. Does anybody ever refuse? Uh, not that I know of. Could be no one recently that I know of. It was anywhere. I'm like a big old family. Alright, well, uh, thank you for the meat, and uh, I guess have a. enjoy the uh, rest of the evening. You too, my friend. And at that point, everyone hears the, like the music kind of go like, shh, 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 yes, yes, this thing on. That's not the voice I was expecting to come out of my mouth, but that's right, that's me. My name here is Cousin, Cousin Betty. And that's right, we're about to have the big old main event, so if you all come down to the main tent, we'll just open it all up for y'all and just have a grand old show. That's right. Get the seeds while they're warm. Gross. And we'll see you guys next week. <sighs> gotta go get sucked into a tiny tent. <laughs> we gotta go beat a clown, beat a word out of a clown. <laughs> <laughs> or just get out pulled out of the gutter punch him until the yeah. words come out there's a lot of people who uh, come from the gutter in this place <laughs> well they all they all clearly have the same line that was fed to them so mm -hmm. <laughs> bye bye <laughs> bye <laughs>